How are you folks? Just a short video of the setting we're on at the moment. Maybe going to a different forest after this one due to the uh, price of the logs at the moment. Log export prices. Nice easy one for the carriage. Been in this setting for, oh, I think we've been in this one for a week. It's been a wet week, so it makes a bit of mud everywhere. Currently not doing anything at the moment, waiting for a new computer screen for the carriage because, yeah, it doesn't work, so we can't do anything. We can't even put strops in because um, we have a fix coming for our problem. The mill that we're contracted to will not let us put strops in and have men, men down the hill if we have a fix going on. If we were down for the whole day, they would let us possibly have strops in. But that's about it. We can't even do anything. So it's just wait. But never mind. Not our problem. But beautiful blue spring sky. Blue sky day. Even the processor down there, that's down, that's getting fixed. So, oh well, that happens too. It's just got a leak in the head. Much better sitting than our last one over the other side of the ridge there. At least I've got good height all the way around. Got bulldozer in the ridge up the top there. Some nice sized trees in here actually, so that's it's a nice change instead of having little skinny flag poles, which are only not even if you're lucky some of them were in their last sitting, I don't know, six to eight inches round. Sucks doing those ones all the time. I don't have to have the skyline super tight this one so it makes it a bit more comfortable to drive doesn't pull the pole so hard forward so I just thought I'd do a little update video and over the back there we got young pines I don't think they're very old they're probably four or five years old but no doubt we will only stay in this forest, this private forest, if the log prices go back up, the export prices. Otherwise, we'll possibly, we'll uh, most likely go to a pan-packed forest after we've done this one here. And then, when the prices come up, we'll probably come back here. So, ah, it's not too bad. We'll go to probably, hopefully, go to a forest that's quite close. That's the them's the brakes, so our uh, carriage has been running good too. Haven't had too many problems with it. All has been running alright, it's just yeah, uh, they're not built for using carriages because they're just not um they don't like the uh long running out and back and not getting a rest. Whereas with your running strops, they get a rest while the guys are hooking up, so they get a chance to cool down. So, yeah, unfortunately, these things doesn't matter whether the seventy or the eighty fives. Um, they tend to get hot with the carriages, the engines. Yeah, a bit of a two stage track down here, hundred meters or so. Yeah. Never mind. We're getting it done. And the ridge in the far distance, that's the Waipunga Road. So, and Napier's directly straight over the back of that ridge there somewhere in the distance. It's only about a 40 minute drive to work at the moment, and that includes coming in here, so 40 minutes, 40 k's. Get to work so that's I'm quite happy with that it's not too far to travel to work it's quite quite
quite nice to be this close to town. Home by just after four o'clock, ten past four or something, so I'm happy with that. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a good one. Folks, haven't done one of these uh, look arounds for a while, so I thought I'd just do one and have a quick look. Had a bit of rain lately, um, makes things a bit harder. This is our next setting, which we uh, may get to run the ropes down today. It's lunchtime now, and yeah. So we go down to that corner over there, we stump down there, stump. Put the back line, the tow rope all the way around there, and then those trees in the distance. Well, that's where the skyline's going to be sitting out there somewhere. So that's exactly what we had to do for our last setting there. We had the skyline out in the trees there in the centre, and then yeah, we had about three places there, so we had to bridle the carriage out. Oh, pain in the ass, but it's not too bad. Just finishing off the last bit over there by the road. Um, the setting before this one was right behind the hauler, which was a yeah, not a bad setting actually. Some decent wood here. That one right there is actually a decent sized piece of wood actually. Quite a good piece of wood that one. Comes an empty end to get a load, a pan pack load, not an export. It's been running out of room for wood up here. There's a major shortage of trucks at the moment. Not enough drivers. So yeah, down there to get this. Um, skyline across we're going to have to winch it across but we're going to have to probably use a drone to get the lead rope across I suppose we're probably using I'm not sure what they'll use but then we have to winch the dyne pull the dynema across and then pull the skyline with that because um, there's like a 50 meter cliff on both sides down there so um, it's yeah just makes it a bit more interesting and down in front of me down there it's only like a five meter cliff but still you had to skirt around it and yeah that was only on this side the far side was just a wet slippery native covered bank so those are all young trees over there those yeah the only problem with this block here the main problem is is that it's got four different owners so those standing trees there are on the other side of a fence line that's still standing and they are a different owner to what we're standing what i'm standing on here these trees here and what was around there they're all different this uh, it's yeah so we have to truck all this stuff before we can even think about doing that stuff but that stuff there goes to a skid over the other side nearer to where the um, all I was before we came over here so that's yeah it's an easy easy sort for us so the bulldozer will oh, I don't know if they won't take the bulldozer down there they might up to the, along this ridge here then we'll drop down the bottom probably take the ropes off the dozer and go along the ridge all the way down there to the end so then we will have reasonable height all the way to the other side And way in the distance, there, you can see where Lou Prince is working. He's the, that is all export wood over there. 
Whereas the wood we do is uh, local and all the stuff what the Pampak Mill doesn't want, that gets exported. We have pulp, we can uh, send all our brakes and small stuff that's no good for anything. That all gets sent to pulp. So, yeah, we don't have a lot of big pile of slash left behind like some people do. So yeah, just a little update. Beautiful day today as well. Ah, yes. The dreaded Hotachi. Well, thanks for watching. If you like it, thumbs up. Any comments, welcome. Or just say hi. Cheers.